You trusted this person, but they looked at you face to face and they did this to you. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. And this word is coming to someone. You trusted this person. And this person was actually trustworthy. But they looked at you in the face and they betrayed you. This word is coming to us from the book of Second Samuel. From the story of Uriah and and David Uriah was a very loyal soldier Uriah served David loyally to the extent that even when David had fallen with Bathsheba and discovered that Bathsheba was pregnant and David called back Uriah so that he could come and sleep with his wife and then he takes responsibility for the pregnancy Uriah was so loyal that he said I cannot my, my, my colleagues cannot be in the battlefront and I'm, and I'm making love and I'm sleeping with my wife. And he did not, that's how loyal it was. But his trust, despite his trust, David looked at him face to face and gave him a letter in his hand that was a betrayal letter, a letter that left to his death. And he happily carried the letter because he trusted David. He happily carried the letter because he believed in David. And little did he know he was carrying his death in his hands. I don't know who God sent me here for. But this is a word for someone you trusted, but you shouldn't have trusted this person at this particular time. You shouldn't have trusted this person. The person I'm talking to, this is a confirmation word. You felt it in your spirit, like something was wrong. You trusted this person, but this particular time you shouldn't have trusted them because they betrayed you really bad. Sometimes, People do things against us not because not because they really intended to hurt us, but because they are messed up or they are in a messy situation or they messed up. David messed up. David made a mistake. And in trying to cover up for his mistake, he was he found himself doing even worse things. Sometimes people are just trying to cover their track and they do terrible things. Sometimes people, that's why you've got to be spiritually sensitive to understand when someone is still working for your good and when they are having an evil agenda, Uriah carried his death in his own hands. But the thing is, it was coming from the man he trusted, the man who looked at him face to face, the man he labored for, the man he toiled all his life for. And someone you might not have died like Uriah, but you found yourself in a place where you were really betrayed. But God sent me to tell you, he is fighting your battle for you. God sent a prophet to David and God told David, because of this thing that you did, because of this thing that you did, this is going to happen. First things first, you are going to lose your, your child. The child that you're having with Bathsheba, you're going to lose that child. The same thing that you did with Bathsheba, your children will rise up under your nose and they will, do, they will disgrace you in that same way. And all the things, David's life fell apart because of that mistake. Because they betrayed you, God says, vengeance is his. He will fight for you. God says vengeance is his. He will fight for you. But my prayer for you is to frustrate their agenda. It doesn't matter their motive, whether it was out of desperation. I pray that God frustrates their agenda against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God frustrates their plans against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they are planning against you will not stand. I frustrate their agenda against your life. I frustrate the plan of the enemy against you. You will not end like Uriah in the name of Jesus. God will intervene and fight for you. You will not be killed 
in the mighty name of Jesus. If this word was a confirmation word to you, or you feel late in your spirit, like this is what is happening and you want to connect to the word for your preservation, just check the description box for your cash app or PayPal, or you can just hit on the super thanks. If you are late and the Lord will bless you, God bless you, shalom.